Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we're going to do an updated Ignite team lineup with the arrival of Ultraman. So as you can see here, I have Ultraman here as kind of my centerpiece for um, the Ignite team. Um, although he doesn't have Ignite, but again, he deals a lot of damage because of Ignited enemies. So we'll start off with him. We'll be discussing... Um, his major skills or major contributions to your ignite team and also i'll discuss my build with him just in case you want to see how i built all of the figures that i'm going to discuss for this video okay so again for ultraman um guaranteed crit then because of ignite uh, sorry uh, yeah Guarding crit because of ignited enemies. So that is his forte. A lot of damage for him. Um, so I built him with uh, attack speed. And this is going to be your skill set. Built to make sure to make sure that uh, his basic attack deal a lot of damage. So again, damage output, output for this guy is tremendous. That is why I got him. Plus, I already got... Um, his um, adornment enhances the ultimate using a compound fist dealing 57% of attack as damage to the target and its adjacent enemies. You don't really need to get this. His damage output is, is actually good. But if you get this, his damage output will be great. Okay, so again, and for his uh, badge, you will need an Eternal Nightmare badge. Okay, so moving on to our next um, important uh, figure for your Ignite team. He is actually as important as Ultraman. I think the Ignite team revolves around this guy because of a lot of things he gives. Heal, plus increase attack speed, extra damage to ignited enemies, and increase attack power given to allies. So again, a lot of buffs for this guy. He will really, really make your Ignite team shine. Um, I don't see Zhao Yu, you know, um, being taken out of an Ignite team. He is one of your mainstays, especially with Ultraman. He guarantees that Ultraman um, deals crit or, or triggers crit um, guaranteed because of his um, him giving Ignite to enemies he's he, he is one of your sure shots in terms of uh, bringing ignite to your enemy so again Zhao Yu and Ultraman will play a key role in your ignite lineup so moving on to another key piece here probably the most uh, one of the most important key piece oh sorry I forgot to mention Zhao Yu uh, parts I just uh, used a helper exclusive eternal eden badge he has uh, previously i built him with all hp uh, uh parts but i opted for support because of this one i'd like to show you this so support is uh, giving you uh increased attack bonus or attack speed boosts is accuracy bonus so healing will be boosted by hp um with erixia in the party i'm i'm not worried about health um that is why he is concentrating more on attack speed uh although he has still a two-piece hp set um the rest would be a support bonus set or support set Okay, so again, moving back to Erixia, uh, our third most important uh, figure here. Erixia, just a highlights, lifesteal to enemies, accuracy bo uh, bonus boost, critical damage, grips critical damage, and increases defense. So th those, both Zhao Yu and Erixia are very important to your team. I, I kid you not, um, they are mainstays for sure. Uh, same with uh, with Zhao Yu, she has support support set. Then she has a defensive set, and she has a Eternal Glory badge that she could you know 
she could gain the shield once uh, and also absorbs lethal damage once. This is handy, especially if you don't have Zuki Liang in your team. So those are the three, you know, I think those are the three mainstays of your Ignite team. The next, um, I won't even consider him a mainstay, although he gives um, burn resist resist uh, bur burn resist reduction um he's not really meant for any type of uh, enemy he works best if you're attacking bosses because of the damage reduction to the current enemy that he's facing especially if you have ultraman in front of him or in the same row so akechi um probably your secondary support again so <laughs> Again, this team is has a lot of supports. Um, we have three supports already: Zhao Yu, Erixia, Akechi, and the last one, guys, would be this guy. I never thought that he would be one of one of the you know the important um, uh, supports or secondary DPS unit to have for for the fire team as you can see here for parts i built him with attack and and this is your skill set okay so zhao yun if you can see his skill so has a shield absorbs tons of damage uh, tons of damage actually but he's not really your your maxed out dps he's usually your secondary dps uh also boosts attack speed boost attack speed by 40 percent when hp hp drops below 60 so he is really your secondary dps you you won't get a another dps right now that can support ultraman but zhao yun is definitely one of your best options so that is rounding out your five for the ignite team um if you don't want to use zhao yun well for other defensive purposes you can actually use sanada well sanada as for the build he has to have life steel set because he's he's less survivable and he has to have this uh increased accuracies for his counter attack so nothing too special with him i usually bring sanada if i'm required to bring three frontline you know frontline figures so we'll demonstrate that later another option for zhao yun is none other than zuki liang so zuki liang if you don't if if you don't really have to worry about the front line, um, you can add him, replace uh, Zhao Yun or Akechi Mitsuhide. Um, this guy, I built him with attack and defense. Uh, he is good with heal reduction, enhances burning damage or burn damage. Ultimate, His ultimate, by the way, um, uh, makes crit hit ignite enemies so he can also be a good support for uh ultraman also guys um increases critical damage which is actually very very much welcome especially if you have ultraman absorbs lethal damage once then shield for 10 seconds and also has energy restore so again he's also another support that is why i don't want to put a lot of support with um with your ignite team um again ultraman zhao yu erexia akechi matsuhide and zhao yun is your main team but you have the option to slot in Sanada or Zhu Kiel Yang. So let's take let's check out the a little bit of play here. Let's go to final battle and let's go to Azel. I have here a stage which I need clearing by the way. So this is with the new and improved. Galatea Ignite team. So as you can see here, the only one missing here is Akechi Matsuhide. I don't really need him because this is, isn't a single boss type. I slotted in Zuki Liang here and see the difference. So again, you see what I mean? I have three frontline peeps here, uh, by the way. 
Okay, I forgot to mention Yun Cha as an option as well. If you don't, if you want to replace Zhao Yun, you could replace Yun Cha. I don't have him, that is why I don't have it as an option currently in my current team. But again, you can have him as an option replacing Zhao Yun um, as another as a defender. Um, he can really be good for healing, and again, one of the best defenders that we have, especially if you want to build a team towards um, what do you call this? Towards Galatea. So going back to that final battle. Okay, so going back here, let us uh, see that lineup again. And um, I haven't I haven't finished this yet, so let's try this one out and let's critic how effective is your um, ignite team versus this stage. So again, um, I prefer the Ignite team because it enhances damage, um, burn damage, and uh, even though you have little DPS um, in your team, um, Ignite adds to that. Burn damage adds to that. So again, it's useful for you know for mobs, it's useful for bosses. Um, but nobody has really built a good uh, Ignite team in the past because there wasn't really enough DPS aside from supports. So now that we have Ultraman, um, this team will really take off, I think. Um, also, if you have Yuncha, by the way, you could replace um, Sanada with Yuncha. You don't need additional burn damage here. You don't need the counter attack even. Uh, Yuncha would be perfect uh, if you replace Sanada in this lineup. So we're at wave three ready. So it's 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 only now that I've built uh, Galatea and the Ignite team. I didn't really have them. They were my last priority in terms of brand, in terms of building them. But now I realize that I have to because I need to improve my you know um my movement in terms of some of the content so this is as good as it gets only Erixia here is um, a bit beefed up because i've been using her even though she's not even though with other brands but i left out um the others zhao yun and zhao yu uh, recently buffed um no not recently buffed recently geared up from my M and with the recent acquisition of Ultraman it has been enjoyable um, playing this team Zuki Liang of course has been one of my one of the figures that help has helped me progress actually in other content but uh, I noticed that he has dropped in terms of performance for my team because he's only at five star I need I need I need to put him up to diamond at least it's one star two star diamond um because he keeps he keeps the keeps on dying and falling off early on so that is why i you know he's he's still useful by the way um but as you go through the advanced stages he keeps on falling off and sometimes um you have to opt out but for a pure galatea team he is one of your he's one of your best supports depending on the setup for this one you will need him for other teams you won't need zuki liang um but again he is your you know you have you have three there in terms of hp support you have erixia you have uh zhao yu and you have zuki liang so again a lot of support for hp this team definitely needs or has been you know this team has been given a lot of help in terms of dps damage with the arrival of ultraman i'm i'm not sure if if uh, right now you could clear some of the stages without ultraman probably if if you're a whale and if you've leveled up most of you know um, these uh, these figures uh, heavily probably yes but again if you're a dolphin or a low spender um, Ultraman is really a good addition especially if you can buy more copies from the store right now I have him at three diamond and that is it 
Okay, so as you can see there, um, very successful Ignite team. Anyway, guys, that is it for your um, Ignite team. Hopefully, you could progress further with the final Counter Strike uh, with other content. So I have progressed already. So I was at second floor most of most of the stages now. I am already at third floor, clearing four or five. So great progress for me. So hopefully, I could just continue to um, enhance their gear and whatever they have so that I could clear more stages. So probably a little more time and I will be clearing some of the stages there. So for Erixia again will be your MVP in terms of survivability. And uh, that is it guys. If you have any comments on the Ignite team, please do put them down in the comment section. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.